In this video, we're going to take a look at using HTTPS GET inside of our Node applications. So I've got a new Node app and I'm going to say const HTTPS is equal to require HTTPS. This allows us to use the HTTPS library inside of our app. Let's then start off by saying HTTPS.GET. As you can see, we need to pass in some options. The options that we'll be passing in is simply a URL, and that will be HTTPS JSON placeholder dot type code dot com. And we'll be looking for slash users. This will give us a list of 10 users. And after that, we can capture the response callback. So we have this res object and the res object allows us to first look at the status code. So let's simply log out the res dot status code as well as res dot headers. And that'll be for the headers. If we simply run our application already by saying node.app.js, you can see that we get a list of headers as well as our status code of 200. So we're halfway there. Now we need to capture the data. So we'll comment these out for now. And in order to capture the data, we have to capture the data event. So let's say response.on and the event that we're going to be looking for is the data event. This gives us access to our data chunk and we'll look at this in a second. And if we simply log out that data, so we'll do the same, I'll clear the console, we'll run this again. You can see that we have the data in various different chunks. This is what's known as a buffer. And in order to capture this, we need to create a new variable. And I'm gonna call this body. And then we will, of course, append the chunk onto our body. When the data is finished, it will fire the end event. And inside of here, we can simply log our body. Let's clear the console and then of course run node app.js. As you can see, we then have a variety of different information about our users. This matches everything that we expected from our API. As well as that, we can hook into the on error event and we could console.error any errors using error.message. So that's how we would look at HTTPS get inside of our node applications.